February in the north, which means it's still cold outside. This is going to add some diesel fuel to our Chinese diesel heater. Heat it up a little bit in here. Back out to the shop, boys. Good morning to you. Oops, spilling it. Oops. I got distracted by the camera. No problem, because right here we have cleanup towels. Heck yeah. Good to go. On. Ain't she pretty? So what's happening? What's happening? Got to put this stuff away. I'm gonna make room on my warpy welding table here to make a simple birdhouse for a relative that has a bird. So I'm gonna clear space off the table here from my awesome impact guns, impact wrenches, whatever you wanna call them. I call them guns because they look more like a gun, right? That's what I thought. This is just the beginning, believe me. I can't wait to use these. I'm really anxious to use all these impact wrenches and maybe even a bigger one, maybe even a red or a yellow one coming in the future. We'll see. You can't go wrong with the red or yellow tools. Although I do think Harbor Freight is up and coming. All right, guys, this is the uh, smallest piece of square tubing that I could find that's uh, big enough to make a birdhouse out of. And it's the smallest gauge I could find too, which is like a quarter inch. So that not helpful, but we work with what we have, right? What I'd like to do, or what I'm gonna attempt to do, is I'm gonna put this on a 45 degree angle here, and I'm gonna see if it'll cut it straight because we're only going to need to go halfway. I'll show you. You'll see. So this is, uh, as far as square tubing goes, it's a 5x5, five five, which I think is like the perfect size, okay? So we'll go 2.5, obviously. 2.5 is the halfway point. And we'll make our 45 degree lines. Heck yeah! That's going to be our roof pitch, 45 degrees. Come on, boys! How do we do that? Okay. Let's see if we can cut it like that. Never know until you try. First, we have to take up our carpet runner. Because we're not relaxing today, we're building stuff, right? Heck yeah. Okay, now we have impact wrenches on our minds. But we're only gonna need make well maybe. Hey, look at that. That was pretty easy. Okay, sweet. Look at that. Sure beats doing it the old fashioned way, huh boys? So let's go 45. I think that's the only way we can do it. Up there. If you ever want to trust these pre-measured things on here, I always make sure with uh, some type of a square 
and then I get a little mallet like this one over here. See, I know where everything's at because I organized my shop after the last project, which is badass, right? Just tap it. You want to just be sure. Got a little extension put on there this time. Let's make sure that looks just right. Let's tighten it down. Yeah, buddy. Ooh, I'm a little over tight there. Oh well. Now, I've never had any luck cutting 45 degree angles with this bigger steel. Not ever, but I never cut it right toward the middle before. So let's see how that does. It was worth, it's worth the effort to at least know. Hey, where's our water? We're gonna turn it on, I guess. Huh. Let's get our floor fan out. You see, we still have that little tiny gap right there in the back. That's from the stress of the, uh, the blade bending because the width is too wide. So what you have to do is you have to tighten this screw down by hand. Unlike making a straight cut where you don't really have to mess with it. If I tighten the screw down with a adjustable wrench, crescent wrench. Let's see how it does. There's one side. I'm kind of optimistic. Let's let's try the other side. Now this side is working a lot better than the other side. And you see there's no gaps. I mean, there's a tiny, tiny one, but not as bad as the last one. And how I corrected that was I didn't tighten this down as tight as I did the last cut, but I tightened this down a lot tighter. It didn't do as well as I had hoped, but better than I expected. So that's a win-win. Let's have a look. Hey, that's not too, too shabby. Yeah, it's a little off. You can see that. It's, it's off maybe an eighth of an inch. Or a sixteenth, maybe. See that? All in all, not too shabby, though. I, I'm happy with that. Let's make a straight cut now. Oh, let's see. Let's go nine inches. That looks about right. We're guessing here. We don't really know and we don't look nothing up because we're artists. Artists just run by the seat of their pants, right boys? You know it's true. And we make shit up as we go along. 
Now I am talking over the heater and the fan now. I have a newfound love for impact wrenches for some reason. I can't figure out the reason. You know I love tools. I just love my tools. So we'll put this back on 90 degrees. guys here's our base that is going to be the frame for our birdhouse ah, look how thick of steel that is we're going to have to I, I was going to put this for more ventilation on the bottom of it in case somebody actually decides to use it. it's quarter inch thick steel the other stuff i had was half inch steel so yeah we use what we have boys all right let's drill a hole in it for the bird. We don't want to uh, drill through the seam of the steel, so let's go on the opposite end. Let's go down about three inches. How's that sound? Sounds good, Jesse. All right. Yeah, let's go three and a half. Yeah. That looks better. You know, I put that dot on there. And it's perfect. First time. You know, that's because I'm an artist and I just have an eye for these things. Oh, it looks like we gotta move stuff out of the way here. Not a problem. You know why? Because we build everything on wheels. When you have a small space, that's what you do. Lots of oil cans. This is going to have to come off. Now we have our Evolution uh, steel bits here. They don't get much use because it's the good stuff. I don't like using the good stuff. This stuff is to be used and I don't like using it because it's so expensive. You had to raise this up as high as it will go and I'm gonna have to put this on something to get it close enough to drill through there so I got to find a little piece of steel to put underneath here where 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 do I look oh yeah that'll work we're always improvising here boys like a birdhouse already right yeah let's clean this up and then we'll cut this you know what 
guys out there taking the mill scale off of this frame for the birdhouse and it started raining. Yes, I said raining in February. Look at that. Nice and rusty apron to my shop there. But yeah. So I don't want to get electrocuted, so we'll grind, but we'll grind closer to the door. If it's raining, it's got to be warm enough to open the door before welding, right? There's a good start. That's out of a 5x5 five five piece of metal. Taking shape. We use this for the bottom to give it ventilation. Perforated steel, right? Kind of surprised I remembered the name of it, honestly. Yeah, I'll mark it out, get it cut. Grind it out. That'll make a nice bottom for it. We're going to use our DeWalt brushless 3 inch cutoff for this. It's badass, trust me. Now the person I'm sending this to probably won't actually use it. You know, this is made out of steel. This is going to be really, really hot if it's in the sun, right? I don't think any bird could live in here. So we'll make sure we put a lot of ventilation in the bottom and a nice vent up in the top. And of course we have the, uh, the hole here. We'll put a little perch down there. So we're, as, as always, we're making this up as we go along. it out looks pretty good it looks like that's going to get a lot of airflow and they could still they mama bird can still build a nest or papa bird i guess builds nests too look at that this this is in case you have the big bad wolf going house to house blowing down all the wooden bird houses or the tin or the decorative bird houses made in china this baby's made right here in the good old USA. Heck yeah. We'll dress it up. It'll be badass. You'll see. Now we got to figure out how to do the, the roof. So what I'm thinking about doing is I just put a, a permanently mounted piece of diamond plate on the left side. We'll permanently mount that. And then we'll get a couple of our weld on hinges and we'll weld at least two of those on here and then we'll put on another piece of diamond plate on this side that you can just open and close so the one on the right will not be permanent 
Let's start with the permanent mounted one. We'll make that four and a half inches. Four and a half. Let me find my Sharpie. I got it. I found it. Don't you guys worry. I got it here. We'll probably have to shorten this up here for also. We'll play that by ear. We'll take this outside and cut it and then figure out the overhang for the birdhouse. Okay, that's going to work. needs brushed out. Perfect. You gotta put a trimmer on it, put a little perch there too. But that will have to be in the next exciting episode. See you, see you then.